The classical era approach to contract law was based on bright line rules rather than loose standards. Under such an approach, the goal was a comprehensive and formal rule system in which every issue in every case would fit under a particular rule that would dictate the result. In the 1913 case Boone v. Co., the Court of Appeals of Kentucky applied this rigid approach in a case involving a one-year oral lease on a farm that violated the statute of frauds. In 1909, J.F. Co. entered into a verbal contract with W.H. Boone and J.T. Co. Under the contract, J.F. Co. agreed to lease his farm in Texas to Boone and J.T. Co. for 12 months, starting whenever the parties arrived at the farm. J.F. Co. promised Boone and J.T. Co. that if they left their homes and businesses in Kentucky, he would provide them with a dwelling on the farm. Additionally, J.F. Co. promised to furnish supplies so that they could build a barn on the farm. In exchange, Boone and J.T. Co. agreed to cultivate portions of the farm for J.F. Co. In reliance on the oral contract, Boone and J.T. Co. traveled to Texas with their families. However, when they arrived, the house on the farm wasn't ready and the supplies to build the barn weren't there. Subsequently, Boone and J.T. Co. moved back to Kentucky and brought suit in circuit court against J.F. Co. for breach of contract, claiming $1,387.80 in damages. In response, J.F. Co. filed a demurrer, asking the court to dismiss the case. Specifically, J.F. Co. argued that the oral agreement fell within the statute of frauds requiring contracts to be in writing, which made the agreement unenforceable. The court agreed and dismissed the lawsuit. Boone and J.T. Co. then appealed the decision to the Court of Appeals of Kentucky. In 